What? That ass. Tris, you've been smoking that shit again. No, but I did have my ginger mix blend today. Mm -hmm. And you know how that gets me. Yeah, horny as fuck. You know, I'm allergic to that shit. Mama on my hood, you look fly, you look so good. I don't know the lyrics. On my mama, on my hood. I don't know. Anyways, uh, what's going on, people? I am Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram, and threads at A Connection TV. Look, I, I just got finished watching um, Bad Boys Club. Episode 15, season 8, the season finale. I dare you. That's what it is. <laughs> um, a cool episode, right? A lot of y'all are mad that he's putting, uh, Karan is putting his stuff on Patreon. Look, the man need to make money. And the problem with our community is we want stuff for free. We want everything for free. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if you want this man to keep making stuff, Y'all got to support some way or somehow. YouTube don't pay that much. And I know he's not making that much money off of this violent stuff that he got um, on YouTube. So, just because it's free to y'all don't mean that it's making him money. So, y'all need to go to his Patreon and support. You know what I mean? I ain't, I'm not going because <laughs> I, don't, I don't watch a show like that. I'm not that invested. But this man got 841 comments on this show and uh, 30,000 30, views in one day. Now, if y'all 30,000 heads were to go to his Patreon, y'all know what kind of budget this man could have for his show? If y'all really cared that much? If it was 841 of y'all to go to his Patreon, do y'all know what? Well, 841 is not really a lot of patrons, but I'm just saying. Y'all need to support these people. Support us indie content creators if y'all want us to keep making content. But he keep making content. I don't know if these people working for free or not. Like, what they, how you keep making all these shows and productions and stuff and flying here and flying it, whatever. Look, I'm happy the man is making stuff. Uh, but this episode was pretty cool. Maj is a is a godsend for this series. This, this, yeah, series of shows. Okay. I don't know about season, was it season six and downward? But season seven, you got Case, Calvin, and Justin. Remarkable boys. Remarkable boys. Okay? Season eight, primarily the whole cast is a great cast, except for one person. <laughs> like, the one person was just like, like, what the fuck? Why is he here? <laughs> but D was amazing. He did what he needed to do. Uh, Vani was, he did what he needed to do. Even though y'all don't like Alex, I love me some Alex. Um, Maj, forget about it. Maj is amazing. Kelton, I don't think he should have been on the show, but Kelton is an amazing like character to have on a reality show, and I think his type of character should be um, showcased more. Darian was cool. He was just a lot of mouth and cute to look at, uh, but he was cool nonetheless. I think he did his thing. Um, Jacob, I think, did his thing, too. You know, Darian and Jacob didn't have to fight the whole season. You know what I'm saying? That just because you fight doesn't make you a bad boy, and just because you don't fight doesn't make you not a bad boy. But primarily, the whole cast was good. I could have did without Justice. Um, I could have did without Keese. Keese came. Well, no, we needed Keese to show us what Maj can do with his fists, you know? So says Maj, you know, after he got finished knocking on his head to see if anybody was home. Shout out to Diego. I think Diego played a part in this cast as well. Yo, everybody was great on the show. I could have did without Keese and I could have did without Justice. No, I could have did without Justice. We needed Keese for that fight scene. <laughs> That's what we needed Keese for. Because other than that, he didn't offer much. And you know what's so interesting? Both him and Justice are like two peas in a pod. They they both need and want attention so badly. They need they need someone to talk to on the show so badly that if they don't talk to the person, they gotta fight the person. And then after they fight the person, they they cool with the person. Like what type of elementary A B C D E F G 
LMNOP type bullshit is this? I, I just, I don't get it. I, <laughs> I don't get it. Miles was having a conversation with Kelton. It was a long conversation, mind you. But, you know, we need to fill the scene up. But Miles was having a, a cool conversation with Kelton, just telling him, look, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. And you was falling for everything last night. I need you to stick up for yourself. And I was going to help you, but I can't just help you if you're not helping yourself. What that look like? I look like Captain save -a You know what I'm saying? In so many words, that's what he was saying. And Kelton was like, you know, he appreciated Maj for sticking up for him and helping him out. Maj is, is the most maturest guy I've seen in all of this stuff. He's the most maturest guy I've seen. You know what I'm saying? His... Just the way he was articulating himself to Kelton was really, really dope. I don't know why none of the other people that have been in that house that long couldn't, couldn't articulate the words to talk to this man. But Maj did, and I thought that was really, really dope. Keys is talking to uh, Crustmouth outside about, you know, the altercation of what happened. But because Crustmouth had finished what he started and I guess was fighting, you know, Keith and Crustmouth, they need to fight the person that they have a little thing, thing, a little hard on for so they can feel something the next day. They fight each other and then the next day he like, no, you think I'm going to just leave him alone. Like, there's no point in going back and forth with him. You think you couldn't realize that there was no point in going back and forth with somebody until you fought them? You had to fight them to realize there was no point in going back and forth with this? Like, what? Like, get a washcloth. Like, I'm so, I'm so... Like, I don't understand that mentality. Like, that's that's the that's the immaturity in the mind. You know what I'm saying? But but the boy is the crustmouth is all like so calm and like mal mannered, like, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. I'll let him live. If he wants to stay here, he can stay here. You should have let his ass live last night. The boy the boy see what, what boils me up about the whole Kelton situation is that the man said flat out. That I'm not liking the way this is making me feel. My anxiety is really, really going up. And I'm not here to fight people. Like, that's not what this is for. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said that y'all, as a collective, were making him nervous. That I was watching that boy, and I got a little choked up watching him. Because I'm like, why ain't nobody saying nothing? This man, although he the, was he the oldest? He 28 getting punked by these kids. What? I don't know. But, I mean, he holds a Barney. But the man was scared. And he ain't want he ain't want no parts of what what Crossmouth was trying to feed him. You know what I'm saying? Like justice, the right, around his mouth just look like cold collard greens. Like you ever you ever look at his mouth it just look like cold collard greens. Cold collard greens that's been sitting out for three months in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? With flies just swat. The flies don't even want it no more, and the maggots left the bowl. That's what the, that's what his mouth look like. Mama, he what? Knock him. Just knock him, Kelton. Just knock him. Keith and Kelton talking. My, no, Keith and uh, Crossmouth talking. Keith, no, Keith and Collards are talking. And Maj and Barney is talking. Then we get to the uh, the table. Now, I don't know why it looked like they was eating eggs and chicken. I, I could understand that. I'm like, what the hell are they eating? But in my mind, I'm like, maybe it's macaroni and chicken, Wes. It could be macaroni and chicken. Keith's holding a conversation with Kelton. Uh, Collins is across the across the table. They're going back and forth. Oh, you know, we'll be fine. I don't think we'll be fine. What? It's on site all day. What you talking about? Like Cardi B said, if it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. You know, then Darian get up, or Darius, whatever his name is, get up. <laughs> Shout out to Maja. Maybe we drunk. Don't do that. <laughs> what? Boy, that boy called him the wrong name, baby. That called him called, called him the wrong name. <laughs> I called somebody the wrong name before. They was getting my mouth and nerves. I didn't feel like being bothered. So, but yeah. Anyways, good times, good times. Darian gets up and pulls everybody some margarita shots or whatever the case may be. We move on from that. And to be quite honest, there was really not a whole lot in this episode. Let's get to the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi with um with Darian and uh Maj was interesting. Cause Darian finally decides to tell Maj about Darius D. And Darian makes it seem like it was so like what they had didn't amount to much of anything. Like they it was nothing. Oh, he was in my bed. Maj said our bed? Yeah, our bed. He was in our bed. But what you and I did, him and I never did. I said, ooh, 
Really? The way he was crying over the D when he left, when it was leaving? Really? Y'all ain't, you ain't let him eat the butt? And you ain't give him no head? I'm shocked. But then maybe Darian and Maj, maybe they boinked in the bed. Maybe they boinked because it wasn't Barney up there trying to watch. I love you. You love me. Can I watch y'all if you see? You know what I'm saying? Like what? Anyways. Maj is like, I don't really care. You know, that was before me. I'm here now. I'm with you now. So what it do? Then Maj said, look, Darius. I said, ooh. Darius said, what? Who? What you say? And then Maj was like, what is it? What? One of them. <laughs> that's how you know they don't really know each other. And that's how you know they only been in the house for, what, like four days? And so, like, Maj is like, oh, was it longer? I don't know. I don't know how long they was in the house. And Maj was like, it's one of them. Don't do that. You know I'm drunk. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because Darian just looked so silly in that moment. You, it felt like he, it looked like he felt like he was silly in that moment. It was hilarious. I loved, it. I loved every bit of it. Darian's going home because he got to take care of his sick dogs, and I'm like, oh. But in the midst of all that, before they got out of the jacuzzi, Darian was like, "You coming with me?" And Maj was like, "Yeah, I'm coming with you." And they pinky swore. So what happened between the pinky swore and waking up the very next day where Maj is not leaving with Darian? What happened where Maj, well, this is the post-confessional, but Maj is talking about he in love with this man. Where was all that? Why is Maj still in the house? I got, I like Maj. I, I think Maj should stay in the house is the best person in the house at this particular moment. But what happened to the pinky thing and him leaving? Did Darian tell him not to leave? You know what I'm saying? Did the production tell him you can't leave? Like, what is happening? I don't know, but we don't know. Child, Darian gets up, Maj make him some coffee. They go ahead and take Darian take Maj. I mean, no. Maj takes Darian to the airport. Now, Maj, this is after Darian saying, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. I just wanna go. I'm, I'm tired of crying. All that. He hugging Keith like he known Keith for three years. The boy just got there yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I, I can understand that. I can understand that. I can understand that. Neither could I understand my saying he in love and want to marry this man and have kids. Okay. But anyway, I digress. Maj get back. And Keith and, 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 and Collins is all outside. Talking about how they don't like the fact that Maj been up under uh, Darian and how he wondering if Maj is going to be able to survive without Darian. Can you survive without wondering or caring about anybody else? See, that's the reason why I like, well, I'm going ahead of myself. But Maj echoed what I just said. If you a bad boy, why are you worried about the next man? That's what Maj said. That's what Maj said after he beat up on Keith like that. Like, we're going to segue right into it. Keith's going to tell Collins to, to get um, Maj to come outside. Marge come outside for the expired soy milk, so says him in the confessional. That's what he called Keith's expired soy milk. He like, he already felt there was a vibe or something happening in the house, so he already on edge. But in my mind, I'm like, did him and uh, Darian have like a falling out at the airport? Is that why he coming hot? Because Keith says to the boy, are you still going to turn up now that your man is gone? I knew what that meant. Maj knew what that meant. He had to have known what that meant because Maj is mature. But something happened within Maj that made him get up and press Keith because he felt that the turn up was depressing of, you know, turning up and throwing hands or whatever, not turn up and have fun. Well, however, Maj took it incorrectly or wrong and felt the need to get up to press Keith. So Keith see that the man is standing up. We all know elevation is the key. Bow, bow, bow. You come down on a whole head. You come down on a whole head. So Keith get up and he like, why are you standing up though? Why are you upset? What's going on? Maj's like, I'm just tired. I'm tired and I don't know what you're trying to do and I don't know why y'all got me out here in the backyard. Like, what's happening? What's fence to go down? And Keith's just yin yanging at the mouth, yin yanging at the mouth. So Keith say, um, Keith say, you don't know me. That's what Keith said. Keith said, 
So as Keith said, do you know who I am? That's what he said. I had to look at my notes real quick because I didn't want to forget this moment. Mars said, show me. Now look here. <laughs> look here. When Mars said, show me, that's when Keith should have said, nah, I never that. Now let's go get, take a shot. Because <laughs> Mars was already on go. Mars was on go. Mars stood up. Maj, Maj made his point clear. Maj made his point clear. So you knew it was a definite ass whooping. And Maj was giving notes about it. When Maj said, show me, that's when you knew there was a problem. And Keith should have just bow, bow down. That's what he, bow, bitches, bow down, bitches, bow, bow. He should have did a Beyonce and bowed down. Because they start fisticuffing. And I'm sorry, but Maj whooped that ass. Maj whipped that ass so badly that Keith was two shades darker because of the bruising on his face. Now, my, like Keith was like, oh no, my face is still pretty. My face is still pretty. He was looking like that boy that had went to the dentist <laughs> that Calvin had whooped up. Calvin whooped that boy out. His mouth was gushing blood. Now, now Keith wasn't that bad. But he, I'm still pretty. I'm still pretty. No, but your face, your skin is flushed, baby. You two shades darker because of them hits on the head. And we saw them. Even though the Patreon sign was coming up, we still saw them dome hits was connecting. You got up, your ear was red. Everything was red about you, Ma. It was red about you. And Maj was looking so calm. Only thing that was wrong with Maj was his shirt was ripped off. But then outside of that, what was the gotcha was how Maj was pressing everybody else in the house. You got a problem with me? We 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 in the same room. You got a problem with me? And how I've been doing my thing? Kelsey like, nope, I love you. You love me. Then he turns to Jacob and 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 uh Alex. They they mute. He he go to uh Collins. Collins like, oh man, I'm not fresh. I've been out in the backyard in the bowl for three months. The flies don't even sit on me no more. And the mag has left the bowl three hours ago. I'm I'm just not fresh. I'm just chilling out here in the backyard. The collards in the bowl. Didn't want no, nobody want no piece of him. That boy is still going off. What is his name? Keith still going off, going off, going off. But that ain't it. Cause five minutes later, they love each other again. Now, I don't know if this production or what. What you call it paid it? Cause what you call it beat his ass. Maj whooped on Keith. So Maj paid it. Maj ain't got to be the one with the problem still. Keith's got to be the one with the problem. But Keith's over here with Maj throwing him back, throwing shots. Couldn't have been me. Ain't no way in hell somebody beating my ass and I'm sitting here drinking shots with him. I don't know what world that is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what world that's in. That ain't in my world at all. You know, and then everybody started leaving. Now, here's the thing I think what happened with this leaving situation because this shit was hilarious. I tell you, I kid you not. Them, them Bamas was leaving and, and going around the corner of the house. Leaving and going around the corner, I, I kid you not. Was no car coming to pick them up individually. I thought it was cute. They acted the scene as they needed to act it. But you know, uh, Collins and Jacob was sitting there laughing the whole time because they knew what it was. Wasn't nobody get, get no car to go out there. No, they was going out there, going around the thing. Tell me if I'm wrong, people. Tell me if I'm wrong. And it was, look, it is four o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I need to give me some sleep. I'm going to upload this when I wake up. But this shit was hilarious. It was hilarious. Leave your comments below and let me know what y'all feel is going to happen at the reunion. I don't know why D is hitting on my boy Maj. I really don't. And who is Darian? Darian calling Maj in the confessionals talking about it's up and it's stuck at the reunion. It's going to be both of me and, me and Maj going to be whooping ass at the reunion. Darian, who asked you whooping Darian? Maj like, what's up, Boots? I got you, Boots. What's going on, Boots? Maj is cool. I don't care if Maj get beat up by D or not, if that's what the cameras are showing. Maj is cool. I like Maj. He's dope. And I hope him and D get along. You know what I mean? Anyway, leave your comments below. Deuces.